What's going on, YouTube Nation? All right, Outlaw V2. Um, today I kind of want to change it up, man. I'm trying to do more content on my channel, as I've been saying in the last couple weeks. Uh, I'm finally over this sickness. I'm good to go. Uh, it's Wednesday, February 13th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody that's going to be hanging out with their chicks tomorrow or their dudes. If you watch my channel and you're a chick or if you're gay and you just like gear, whatever. Whatever you do, man, I'm cool with it. Uh, okay, I digress. Um, one of the things I want to talk to you talk to you about today is the fizzy, actually not the physiological, the psychological effects of gear. Because I don't think there's enough uh, YouTube channels that talk about it. There's a couple of guys overseas that run some YouTube channels that like kind of briefly discuss it, but they're I don't know, they're they're uh, a little bit vague on some of the stuff that they're talking about. So some of the things I want to talk about is in the last four years, I mean, I, I started when I was 40 years old. You see my other videos. So I've been doing this around around four years, maybe four and a half years, because I think I started a little bit before I was 40, and I'm 44 now. So um, I got a little experience with it, and I've done it in a couple different ways. When I started out, I, I, didn't, get, uh, I didn't get the proper instruction about like using AIs like Anastrozole and Arimidex and uh, Letrozole, like the different types of um, estrogen blockers and aromatase inhibitors that you can run. So at first, <laughs> I just started running testosterone. Uh, I think I ran a cycle of trend. I mean, I wasn't worried about prolactin. I wasn't worried about shit. All I cared about is that my dick worked and I had good sex drive and I was strong. That's all I gave a fuck about. Everything else was like secondary. So, all right, so I won't talk about the estrogen, like the estrogen effects physical. We all know like gyno, I got gyno, like it's, it's I don't have gyno now, um, but I started to get gyno, I started to get gyno, I started to get lumps under my, you know, underneath my nipples, the shit fucking hurts. Like when you have gyno, <laughs> you know, it ain't, it ain't no secret. Um, so, I, I want to keep this video short, so I don't want to really, you know, like start into a real big long story. So I'm not going to focus on the physical effects of like estrogen and gear. What I am going to focus on is the hormonal effects. A lot of people don't understand. Like, so you start taking testosterone, and, and we know. I mean, I know ranges ranges vary from lab to lab, but most most recognized um, range I've seen for testosterone is like 240 to like 920. That's like your standard range. Like if you get your blood work done, you'll be somewhere in there like NG per deciliters. I don't, I don't, like I said, I'm, I don't, I'm not a doctor. So whatever the fuck NG per DL is, is how much is in your blood. But 240 to 920 I've heard is the fucking range. When I got tested when I was natural, I was a 458. Pretty good sex drive. I, you know, I my dick worked. Um, everything's good. But so you start supplementing with ex exogenous testosterone. So your natural testosterone production during that time is gonna to go to zero. And however much testosterone you're running, you can generally multiply times five, and uh, that's roughly gonna be what your blood work shows if you're running, you know, uh, if you're running good gear, if you're running real shit. So let's assume you're doing, I don't know, 250 milligrams a week testosterone sipping eight. One injection, boom, taking it. So 250 times five is around 1250. So what people don't tell you is that your hormones control all your decisions that you make and like the way your mind thinks and like, it's, it goes way beyond um, just lifting weights and fucking, you know, it, it putting on size and shit like that. Your hormones dictate like how you feel and your behavior. Like <laughs> any guys out there, if you ever live with a girl, when she goes on her period, what happens? Her estrogen goes crazy, her hormones go crazy. That's why she's a bitch. Um, that's why she cries about stuff. You know, like, I'm fat and this and this and that because your behavior changes. So listen, fellas, don't think that you can take your testosterone to 1250 and you've been, you've been walking around at 400 and think you're not gonna have some psychological effects. There's a couple of things that happen. Your sex drive is, is usually nine times out of, I've heard of guys go on tests like, yeah, I don't have any effect on my sex drive. I'm like, you're not taking a real test because that it governs that shit. Like if it ain't fucking increasing your sex drive, then maybe you should check your supplier. But this can get guys in trouble that are in, that are in uh, committed relationships because guess what guys, at a 1250 testosterone rating, pussy is gonna sound like oxygen. 
Like you're gonna need, I need vagina to breathe. That's just the way it's gonna be. Um, now, not running an AI. I didn't run an AI when I was first doing testosterone. And at first I was fine because either, either the high, high testosterone and the high estrogen, I don't know what my estrogen climbed to, but I had gyno, so it had to be in the, in the critical, you know, upper li control limits. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't blocking it. Um, well, when my estrogen went crazy, my sleep, I, I lost sleep quality. Having high estrogen is not fun. It fucking sucks. Like I was emotional as fuck. My sleep went away. Um, I was crying all the time. I was hormonal. And I'll tell you a real story. I'm in a commit. Well, I'm in an open relationship, which, yeah, and it's two way open relationship. My girl can talk to other, she can talk to guys and I can talk to other females. Um, well, <laughs> there's a problem with that because when your testosterone is climbing into a, a, the fucking red zone, which is good for bodybuilders, but it isn't good for wanting, for wanting sex. Okay. So since I have an outlet, because I'm in a committed relationship, I have rules. Um, the psychological effects for me was that I didn't fucking care. Like I have to fucking breathe and, and sex was a part of that. So you got to understand that, that like testosterone doesn't just, you know, you guys that are married and shit like that and guys that are out there running gear and boyfriends and thinking, yeah, I'm doing a cycle. I'll be fucking fine telling your old ladies, yeah, don't worry. Suddenly you're jerking off like four times a night. You're waking up at 3 a.m. so you can fucking rub one out. Like this stuff is going to have an effect on your relationship. These are the psychological effects that, that not everybody looks at when you're talking about, you know, running these, these high hormonal levels. Um, estrogen, like I said, I usually relate that. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, Estrogen, I usually relate that to um, emotions. E, emotions, E, estrogen. Fucking, it makes you, it makes you crazy emotional. Um, when I had my, sh you know, shit go down, I had my estrogen telling me that I was like in love with this other girl and not, you know, and, and maybe wanted out of my main relationship. Like I, w I went fucking nuts. But again, you have to control your hormone levels. And if you're in a committed relationship, me and my girl are still together. I, you know, everything is good. Everything, you know, got put back together. But I almost lost my relationship. That's kind of why I do this video. I almost lost my relationship in the best thing I have in my life because of just being stupid and not realizing that your behavior is going to change. Like testosterone, aggression levels. I don't, I don't, I don't buy into the whole roid rage thing. I think that's an over, I think that's an overblown thing. I, I don't really believe in it, but but it does increase aggression. I get madder when I commute these, <laughs> it's crazy weather if you look around. It's crazy weather right, right now in California. I get mad as hell. But I realize it. If I'm on cycle, I know. I know I'm gonna have a kind of a hair trigger. I watch it around, around, around the house with my kids. I watch it with them. I watch it with my girl, my pets. All this stuff, you gotta think about this, man. Having a testosterone level of five times normal may sound fucking great and it is like you can have sex like a porn star <laughs> I mean you want it all the time but guess what if your girl ain't around all the time and you're in a committed relationship and you want it all the time this is the kind of stuff that leads to cheating us guys as gear users we're already trying to look big and fucking what are we looking big for when it really comes down to it I mean all of us aren't like doing competitive powerlifting and, and stuff like that. For all like the YouTube viewers that do do bodybuilding and stuff like that, I think it's fucking great. But most of the guys are just casual users because we like to look good naked and, and, and be attractive to the opposite sex. I, I do it because I feel like I owe it to my girl to like look a certain way. It's just the way it is. Um, but that's it. So everyone out there, man, that's watching, thanks for the subscriptions, man. I really appreciate you, you know, the love from you guys, I like the comments. Um, like I said, I don't know it all, man, but you know, one of the things I always want people to know, you know, using, using gear is about being responsible, you know, and you gotta be responsible in your life with, with everything. And don't think that, uh, you know, don't think that messing with your hormone levels is not going to fucking change your behavior. Cause it most certainly do. It most certainly does. All right, man, everybody have a happy Valentine's day. I love you too. Sign out.